contact uh, Tickle Ground Station of C to the Mega Squad as our vessel has approached and it's uh, staying on the board now. Can you pass me that, please, Corporal? Thank you. Okay. Okay. Two, Painted devils in red, sporting a symbol of fossil and dread. Did fame and did murder like dear hearted me? I jumped on a freaking Imperial Brigade. <laughs> oh, you don't recognise that one. I used to sing it all the time when I was a lieutenant. You know, fresh from the academy. <laughs> I'm pretty sure I'm the. Um, all my classmates are still alive. Hey, boy, I can have a stay, boy. Roger. I don't know. Maybe when I get my time off, maybe I can try and find them. It'd be nice to see him again. Yeah. Well, no. Re not really. Uh, I was at the academy for long time, uh, longer than most normal people. I failed the uh, I failed the final exam twice, <laughs> if you can believe it. I don't know, holographic tapes and you know all of those, you know all that stuff just didn't really suit well with me. Yeah, I just like to shoot, you know it's a practical thing that they showed me and you know, I found I had a real talent for it. They tried to make me go into the Stormtrooper Corps, and I was like, no. <laughs> no but why? Well, I don't know. You know, have you seen the training that they have? You know, call me old-fashioned, but, you know, it's like some Stormtroopers kind of hit the broadside of a sand crawler. No, no, I chose to specialise. I, um, I wanted to be a uh, sharpshooter, you know. It's actually kind of um, irony, that song. Well, I lived um, in a small town uh, on the outskirts of Thede, on Naboo. Uh, spent most of my childhood there. Uh, it was just me, uh, my mother, unfortunately, died when I was very young. So it was just me, my father, and my two brothers. Um, my two brothers uh, opened up a shop uh, right in the town centre. Uh, selling parts for ships, uh, things like that, but I didn't want to do that. And I think my dad knew, <laughs> my father knew. So he got me a rifle when I was 16. And he taught me to uh, hunt in the uh, nearby swamps. So he taught me so well to a point where he didn't even need to accompany me anymore. You know, it was my contribution to the family, you know, bringing in dinner every night. Oh yeah, I got really, 
really talented at uh, shooting things. <laughs> you know, if that's a skill that you can be proud of. No, no. I do miss him. What happened? Oh, well, that's where the irony of the song comes in, you see. Because I got involved, me and my father got involved in a community project. We were building a playground for the children in the capital city of Thede when a rebel cell planted a bomb. The whole bloody thing collapsed. It killed 153 people. My father was among them. And what made it worse was that the rebels came out, planted a flag in the rubble and the bones, and they said, <laughs> I'll never forget this, they said, this town is now liberated by the Rebel Alliance. I mean, liberated. Liberated from, from what? Liberated from what? Life? Did 153 people need to die for your delusions of freedom and oppression. I joined the Imperial Legion the next day. My brothers, uh, well, they're still there as far as I know. But as I say, I joined the Imperial Legion the next day, got shipped out to the Academy on Coruscant. I did basic training. They tried to get me to uh, join the Stormtrooper Corps. <laughs> so I became a sharpshooter. I did the training. And uh, obviously my previous experience with my dad helped. I graduated from that. One thing led to another and here I am. <laughs> yeah, I miss him. He was a good man. Loyal. And I think that that is what the Rebel Alliance severely lacks. Loyalty. The whole purpose for the Empire being founded was, you know, because of greedy politicians and corruption. You mark my words, even if the Rebels win this war, you know, it's, it's, it's just going to devolve into the same problems. It's not going to get fixed. And the same problems are going to keep arising until eventually a new empire will arise to preserve order to the chaos. It was just the written stuff, you know. I just like the practicality of, you know, holding my rifle and shooting. You know, it's it's just one of those. Hostile! Right side! Right side! Get your head down! Get your head down! Ah, damn it! Hey, 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 Rat, I must have seen the fire. Uh, no, it's no good, Corporal. It's no good. There's too many of them. 1-5, one 1-5. One this is Major Tireless Recon Team Epsilon. We are under fire. Repeat, heavy fire from at least three Rebel Assault Teams. Location, Beta 55835. Five, five. Requesting immediate assistance. Over. Yeah. Roger that, Major. Got a tight squadron inbound to your position. Hang tight. Over. Sold that. Sold that. We have to move, Corporal. There's no other option. We have to move. They're going to overrun us. 
I'll go down some covering fire for you and you make for that tree line. Understood? Good. Okay. Three, two, one. Take this, rebel scum! Have some. Damn it. Okay. Look. Ties inbound. Here's our chance. Move. Move. Keep moving. Keep moving. Don't go back. That was a bit close. <laughs> oh, what this? No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Corporal just grazed me when they jumped us. I'll patch it up in a second. Oh, just <laughs> for now, we need to rendezvous with the 53rd. Yeah. I believe their last known location uh, was here, just a few clicks to the north. We can print the... Oh, just let me catch my breath. They can prep us for an evac. I hate this place. I know. <laughs> I know. Let's keep moving. We don't want them boxing us in. This is Major Tyler. Thanks for the assist. Looks like you saved our asses this time. Over. We are trying to run over with the 53rd. Do you know where they are? Over. Affirmative Major, they're here with us. Try and go over whatever's left of the Death Star shield capabilities. We can't. Repeat. Dish Space One, come in. Dish Space One, come in. Over. Okay. Well, at least we know where the 53rd are now. Let's move out. It shouldn't take long. <laughs> 